Bay here on Kangaroo Island, which is one of the Australian sea lion colonies. The Australian sea lion is one of the rarest seal and sea lion species in the world, and the population is actually endangered as well as declining. One of the reasons for the decline is hookworm, which causes intestinal infection. A lot of pups will die from hookworm disease, and part of the work we're doing here is to investigate how significant hookworm is in terms of reducing pup success. We need baselines for everything to understand sort of as a larger approach what actually is affecting the species and how we can manage it as a whole. There's minimal numbers left in the wild and we need to do everything possible that we can to look after them. We started earlier this week to set up an experiment to look at the effectiveness of ivermectin which is a drug that kills parasites and it's particularly effective against intestinal worms. Scan, is it ready? And we know that 100% of pups will be infected because they get the larvae of the worm from their mum's milk. We will we'll catch the pups and of the pups we catch, we randomly assign them to either the control group, which receives no treatment, or the treatment group. And then we collect things like the blood, faeces and fur to look at a whole suite of, of health parameters. And we'll come back monthly for three months and we're actually going to then collect the same suite of samples and then we'll analyse them to see how different the treated and untreated puppies have fared in the absence of hookworm. These are the samples we collected today from the puppies. Um, so basically what we're going to do with these, we have to process them straight away because these will last about 24 hours. Yeah. Um, after that, there's no point even processing them. Yeah. We all do specific jobs, which we switch around so that we all have experience with different things. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, sorry guys. <laughs> when we're handling puppies, I guess one of the most important things is that we do it in the most respectful manner that we can. These are wild animals, they're not used to being handled in this way. We have a lot of experience and expertise in the sampling that we do and in the restraint that we do. Hey puppy. Oh, oh I know, right, matey. Right, I know. It's okay. When we're sampling them, we find ourselves talking to them um, sort of like you would any animal that you love, like it creates a very calm environment because we're calmer. And that allows us to do the work we need to do in the minimum time possible, which for me is the most um, important aspect of this work. We do know that there has been trials around the world to test ivermectin as a successful treatment for hookworm. This is probably the largest scale trial that has been done and it will have implications for other species, particularly sea lion species that are significantly affected by hookworm disease. We've got two short term goals, which is the five month period of time and then 18 months when they should be weaned. And then we have a really long period of time to see if they're entering the reproductive cohort. I don't think anyone could actually come and work with these animals or even come and see these animals and not fall in love with them. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. The main risk is that we get a population that is no longer able to recover. Given what we know now, it is time to move from monitoring to action, which from our perspective is an intervention and trying to eliminate hookworm as a cause of mortality.